one of the many problems with these damn wokers is they like to look at privileges as if they're rights. There is a difference between a right and a privilege. A right is something that cannot be taken away from you. For instance, you have the right to pursue your own happiness, whatever that may be. The government, they cannot take that away from you. You have the right to live wherever you want to live. Those are examples of rights. In a free society, rights can't be taken from you. Then you have privileges. It is a privilege to be born in this country. It is a privilege to live in America. Now, obviously, there are some people out there that just don't understand that. Another example of a privilege pertains to what we're going to talk about today. Competing in the Olympics, representing America in the Olympics, is a privilege. You have the privilege to represent your country on a global scale. You are chosen. It is not your right to be there. Now, the reason I explain the difference between a right and a privilege is when you're involved in something that is considered a privilege, you might be asked to surrender certain rights. For example, if the NFL banned kneeling for the national anthem and you're Colin Kaepernick, then you have one hell of a problem. You have a choice to make. You can kneel for the anthem and lose your job be blackballed from the NFL, or you can comply and continue to make millions of dollars. Seems like an easy choice to me, but we all know what Colin Kaepernick chose to do. The problem with the aftermath of the Colin Kaepernick situation is it created all of these other activists. Even though Colin Kaepernick was blackballed from the NFL, he received a huge contract from Nike. Nike basically pays him millions of dollars just to be woke. Colin Kaepernick, you can argue that he actually became a bigger star, got a bigger platform after he was out of the NFL. He is a bigger star now, at least in woke circles, than he ever was as an NFL quarterback, and he made it to a damn Super Bowl. Colin Kaepernick's elevation to superstar status is part of the reason that I think anyway that some of these athletes continue to do these ridiculous woke political demonstrations. Have any of you ever heard of Gwen Berry before this past weekend? If you haven't, I will tell you who this wonderful ambassador for America is. Gwen Berry is a member of the U.S. Olympic team in the real competitive event known as hammer throwing. See, this is why I don't watch and pay no attention to the Olympics. The Olympics are a gigantic waste of time. You notice how I haven't called Gwen Berry an athlete? I don't consider hammer throwing to be an athletic event. Throwing hammers, it seems like something that drunks do in the backyard when they get bored on a Tuesday afternoon. Apparently, Gwen Berry is a pretty good hammer tosser. Either that or only three people were dumb enough to participate in this Olympic trial event because Gwen Berry placed third. She earned the bronze medal. Now, this is where it gets interesting. During the whole medal presentation ceremony, the national anthem began to play. Gwen Berry was just so offended by this injustice. How dare you play the national anthem at an Olympic event? Yeah, I mean, it's not like, you know, the other people competing aren't there to represent America or anything. During the playing of the national anthem, Gwen Berry turned her back on the American flag. And then she proceeded to drape a shirt over herself that read, Activist Athlete. (laughs) Activist Athlete, really? Where do I even begin with this? There is so much wrong with this entire situation. Number one... This is so disrespectful to anyone that has died for this country, for anyone that has died for the freedom that Gwen Berry lives with every day, the freedom that allows her to blatantly disrespect her own country in this manner. I can't imagine what people in the military or family of people in the military, I can't imagine what they're feeling when they see something like this, something so disrespectful. I mean, could you imagine? Your father dies fighting for this country and some damn woker has the audacity 
to disrespect the country that he died for? I just can't imagine what, what they feel when they see things like this. We are supposed to be better than this. In my lifetime, 36 years, I have never seen so much disrespect for America by the people who live here. Like I said a second ago, it is a privilege to be born in this country. Yet, these damn wokers, they take advantage of it. And they're trying to turn America into China. People can't get out of China quick enough. Why don't you go ask the people of Venezuela how it is to live in a socialist country? Inflation is so high in Venezuela and the food supply is so low that people literally are running down the street chasing cows to get meat. And I'm not making that up either. I've seen the video. Number two, Gwen Berry. This is important. You are not an athlete. You are not an athlete. Like I said, throwing a damn hammer is not athletic. It's just throwing a hammer. And let's say that you're an activist. Let's pretend that you're an activist for a second. If you want to be an activist, that's fine. That's fine. But whatever your cause is, whatever you're fighting for, you just ruined your entire message because no one is paying attention to your woke political cause. I don't even know what it is. All anyone is paying attention to is your outright disrespect for America. Oh, but it gets even better. After the immense backlash that she received, Gwen Berry is now claiming that she was set up. This was all set up. She's claiming that the playing of the national anthem was done on purpose just to piss her off. Dude, no one knew who the hell you were or cares who the hell you are. I don't know where this event was held, probably in a high school gym in Sheboygan, Wisconsin, but do you really expect me to believe that the people in charge of running this event took the time to figure out who you were, what your political beliefs were, and knew that you would be offended by playing the national anthem and they did this on purpose? You expect me to believe that? According to ESPN, who we all know is the wokest network on television, the playing of the national anthem is scheduled. They schedule it every day. It's played once every evening during the Olympic trials. Gwen Berry claims that she was told the national anthem would be played before her part in the ceremony. Quote, it was funny because they said they were going to play it before we walked out. It just happened they played it when we were out there. So, you know, it's okay. I really don't want to talk about the anthem because that's not important. The anthem don't speak for me. It never has, end quote. <laughs> These damn wokers, the gift that keeps on giving. Gwen Berry, if you are so disgusted by us here in America, then why in the hell are you trying to represent us on a global stage? If we are so disgusting here in America, Go live and represent some other country. No one's stopping you. I promise we don't give a damn. We won't miss you. We won't miss your ability to throw a damn hammer. Now, this isn't the first time that Gwen Berry has made a complete ass of herself either. Back in 2019, she raised a fist at the podium during the Pan American Games in Peru. She was actually placed on probation by the U.S. Olympic Committee for doing this. Now, I don't think they went far enough. They should have banned her from participating in future events. She has no business representing this country. But that's not what they did. They did the exact opposite instead. And here's where I have a huge problem with this. The committee apologized to Gwen Berry for putting her on probation. What the hell was there to apologize for? First, you didn't punish her hard enough. Then... After you lightly slap her on the wrist, you apologize for it? All that did was empower her to continue to use your platform to promote her woke agenda. And the Olympics are allowing it this year. Back in March, the committee announced that they would allow political demonstrations. They'd allow these athletes to kneel for the national anthem, raise their fist, you know, most of the woke demonstrations, most of the woke garbage. So I don't really blame Gwen Berry here. I blame the committee. 
They should not be allowing this to begin with. You give a woker like Gwen Berry the permission to be woke on your platform and make woke demonstrations? What the hell do you think she was going to do? This whole Gwen Berry thing, though, it just, it feels so forced to me. It feels so inauthentic. Like I said earlier, all of these wokers, they are now trying to become famous. They're trying to become the next LeBron James or the next Kyrie Irving or the next Colin Kaepernick. Gwen Berry didn't do this to promote some agenda. She did it to make headlines. She did it to get attention. Now, there were two other ladies standing there, hand over their heart during the national anthem when Gwen Berry pulled her little woke shenanigans. And you know, it wouldn't have upset me if one of those girls would have just slapped the hell out of her. Now, that would have made headlines. Gwen Berry, at that point, would be a real victim instead of the fake victim that she's portraying now. And if one of those women had done that, I think they would be looked at as heroes. People are tired of these damn wokers disrespecting the country. Now, they would have been sued for doing it. That's what wokers do when they get into physical confrontations. They sue. But I guarantee you, though, they wouldn't have had a problem finding a lawyer to represent them or paying the legal bills. Someone would have stepped up. Enough is enough. If you're an athlete and you're woke and you want to be an activist, you don't like it here in America, then get the hell out. I'm tired of saying it. We do not need you misrepresenting us on a global stage. It is embarrassing. All right, what do you guys think of Gwen Berry? I assume she and her are the proper pronouns to use when we're talking about her. You never know nowadays with these damn wokers. You got to put that disclaimer out there. But what do you think of Gwen Berry disrespecting America, disrespecting the national anthem? Sound off in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click the notification bell to receive all notifications from the channel. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com. KC underscore BTL84 on Twitter. I hope to be back later today. Hope to be back later today with another video. See you guys later.